What New Testament figure taught the Magi ancestors about the future birth of Jesus? Short answer is we don't know. There's another answer, which is here's a plausible theory. Uh, remember the story of Daniel and uh, the big golden image that everybody's supposed to bow down to? Um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, when they're supposed to bow down to the big golden image, uh, Daniel 3 verse 3 says that King Nebuchadnezzar sent together the satraps, the prefects, the governors, the counselors, the treasurers, the justices, the magistrates, all of the other people, along with some magicians. And uh, the old Aramaic word for magician, interestingly enough, is magos. That's what it comes into Greek as, which is magi. And one of the theories that is out there is that in Babylon, which is far in the east from Israel, we have these exiles from Israel like Daniel, like Shadrach, like Meshach, like Abednego, who have a lot of access to King Nebuchadnezzar, and they begin to talk to King Nebuchadnezzar and the people of his kingdom about who the true God is and about some of the prophecies that foretell the Messiah And even years later when Jesus is born, some of these magos that we meet in the book of Daniel come looking for a newborn king because they know the Bible as it has been taught to them by Daniel and Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego. Do we know that for certain? No. Is that a plausible theory? Yes. Well, and it's one of the beautiful things about God's Word. That the reality is when we, when we dig into it, we begin to find out that lots of se- things that seem mysterious have, have very simple explanations that God has a plan and he's been executing this plan all along. And when you think about this idea that, that perhaps God used Daniel who was carried off into exile not only to, to be a prophet and to do incredible things in his time, but that his life and his witness... Were the, were the birthing ground for a whole area of witness for generations after that ultimately led to the arrival of the Magi at, the, at Bethlehem to see the child? It was pretty extraordinary, pretty amazing. Happy Epiphany, everyone.